Okay, just a real quick demo on collision. So for whatever object you actually have, if you actually select it, we double click and we open it up so we can see it in the object editor. What you can actually see here is I can turn on um, collisions right here and it can be object orientated. It could also be um, material orientated. So you could actually turn them off and on for certain materials, having certain areas that you could pass through and certain areas that you can't. But just wrapping for something like a rock, we can actually go in under collision, and I'm just going to remove collisions first. And then I could wrap for, let's say that this was a rock, I could actually go around and I could just uh, choose, let's do an auto convex collision or which would try and acknowledge these this doorway in this particular case or I could just wrap uh, let's do a simplified 18 dot there we go and this is basically a collision that is wrapped all around the model gives a little bit of a cushion as you can see because it's going off of the bounding box and then I would just save it and now this would actually be its collision. It's not 100% accurate, but if you're not going up here, it's not a big deal. You can mess around with what collisions you'd want. You can always uh, delete a collision. And you can actually go in and say, oh, you know, maybe I want one based off of uh, auto convex. And just hit, let's try the default, apply. And it scans the whole model trying to make the best collision it can but sometimes it can be overly complicated this one in particular because it's a weird one so we could see it did a fairly good job of some of it it always gets confused later on what you guys will learn how to do is make your own custom simplified collision inside of Maya that's going to be a lot more accurate um, and then if you're like, wow, that one's not working, I can always either go in or I could actually uh, try and adjust its accuracy. You don't want to go nuts with these because um, then it becomes a lot more complicated. Um, and there will be times you just have to basically get rid of the collision and start over. But don't worry about that too much right now. Um, just using uh, a simple one for a rock should be easy. This one's more complicated because there's a hole that you would walk into if you were going to walk into it as a model. But I wouldn't worry too much about that. But you open up the model, go inside, and you have different collisions. Make sure your collision is on so you can see what it looks like. And you can always, like I said, uh, remove the collision and then start brand new and see if there's something like a box collision just literally robs a box. This is the simplest collision you can have. Um, yes, it would block things up here, but if you're not interacting with the top of it, it really won't matter. But you can always go in and just uh, basically go in and tweak things out, which is really nice. Um, lastly, you could add a collision or multiple collisions and then scale them to what you need so in other words I could actually go in and I can actually scale this um, assuming that it's not snapping to grid and then just go in and where's my scale there there it is that's a little better and then I could just move this collision to block the top to prevent people from going inside Tighten it up so it doesn't block people walking by or snag on them. And something like that. Let me lift that up just a little bit. Something like that. And then we have this collision right here. See? And then I would just save it from there. And now it's only going to block. Up here it wouldn't be blocking. But I could actually add multiples. So I could just take this, scale it down, and literally uh, put the collisions where I want and have multiple collisions inside of here. So hopefully that will help you out.